be going over the 503 coil winder. Here you have your power switch, go to the power cord, your start button, power on indicator, interlock key, your panel view touch screens. You have left side check, traverse assembly, filament dispense unit, dancer, and load cell pulleys, your main actuator. Mandel tensioning assembly with the right hand chuck. In the electrical cabinet, you'll find the drives. When you read four, they're booted up and ready to run. Once the machine is powered on, you can access the touch screens. The menu is PLC clock status. Alarm history, if there is any. Filament tension screen, where you can adjust tension. Turn auto tension on or off. Filament angle calibration, or Kiance. Sensor calibration and filament dancer position calibration. Administrative options. For bypasses, settings, manual tension screen, you have batch counter screen, manual motion for spindle and traverse movement, recipe select screen for saved recipes, a recipe edit screen for editing recipes. You have options such as spindle acceleration deceleration, load filament tension, mandrel tension, maximum coil length, maximum start position, mandrel stretch, and size factor, as well as camera control and tension or position mode. Under the recipe step edit screen you have 30 steps you can edit, length, spin speed, filament tension, pitch start and ending, an angle start and ending, as well as angle control and angle find with traverse. Under run wind screen, you have all of your options for running coils, you know, mandrel, actuator, filament tension, homing position for spindle, as well as a 5 inch load position when loading filament and homer set. When loading filament, release for five inches traverse. Go ahead and enter in the mandrel to the left chuck, tighten it. And the right chuck as well. Make sure the tensioner is locked down. Then you can begin to tension your mandrel. Next you can load the filament onto the mandrel. Tape the filament to the chuck. And then tension the filament. and home the traverse assembly. Once everything's been set up, you can start the wind.
On your monitor you can see Keynet's XG system, tracking angle. When the line's completed, you turn filament tension off. Tape off the filament. And then cut your filament to release the coil.